Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick overview of Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 with an emphasis on the pen tools, as well as applying fills and strokes and using the Pathfinder effects. So I went ahead and created a new workspace. If your composition doesn't look like mine, go ahead up to Window, Workspace, make sure Essentials is selected, and then click on Reset Essentials. Alright, so your area should look just like mine now. So we're going to go ahead and start off over here with our pen tools. You can go ahead and click and hold, and you'll be able to see your different options. You can also tear off this pen tool panel by clicking right over here. So now we have that as a separate floating panel. We're going to go ahead and start off with the regular old pen tool. Now, the pen tool is basically used to create anchor points. And the anchor points are used to create paths and the paths are eventually used to create shapes. So in this example you can see here that there are three points. There's an anchor point, there's one, and here's one. And these lines in between are the paths that it's creating. These right here are the handles. The handles are used to define that path, to create that different curve in between them. So this right here is an example of a smooth point. There's two different types of points that are used in Illustrator. There's smooth points, again, which is this one, and there's also corner points. So smooth points are where anchor points connect two line segments in a continuous curve. So you can see it's a nice smooth curve. Now corner points are where the line instead quickly changes direction in a really harsh point. So for example, I can convert this one by clicking up here. And you can see it's a much sharper point now. It kind of took away those handles. I can also click to create these. These are corner points. You can see how it's abruptly changing direction to create zigzags, harsh lines, things like that. So this zigzag design we created over here is an open path with no handles. It's an open path because we never joined these ends. So we never joined the starting point to the end point. If I wanted to continue adding on to this, I can go back to my pen tool, click on that end, and you can see it's changing. This is because I'm directly over an anchor point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And now I can continue adding to it. So right now I'm clicking and dragging to create these smooth points. And then I just connected it. So this is now a closed path. Complete objects can have smooth points and corner points, it doesn't matter what, as long as the ends are joined together. So it's one complete shape. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to add fills and strokes to this object in just a second. Um, but I just want to clarify a few other things with the pen tool. So remember, to create a smooth point, you click and drag. So as you can see when I click and drag, it automatically creates these two handles here. If I just want to turn one handle, I can hold ALT. Alright, by holding ALT, I'm able to move just this one handle. If I wanted this to create a perfect point, I can hold SHIFT, and it'll automatically constrain that to that perfect horizontal movement. Alright, so I just undid that. If I want to just use one point, I can hold COMMAND, and drag out. So that's just creating one handle. Okay, and then I can come over here and drag down to create that arch. So if I wanted this to turn sharply now, I can just hold ALT. Now I'm holding SHIFT. Letting go so that just made that handle go straight out. Holding SHIFT again and clicking to create that point. Alright, so as you can see we also have a few other tools associated with the pen tool. There's the Add Anchor Point tool, the Delete Anchor Point tool, and the Convert Anchor Point tool. Okay? So, if we hover over this line, you can see that my cursor automatically changes to the little pen with the plus sign next to it. That's the Add Anchor Point tool. It's the same thing as clicking over here and then hovering over it. So what this does is it literally adds anchor points. So if I click, it just created one right there for me that wasn't there before. If I click again, it just created another. Right now it's completely filled. So you can see that this is the one I currently have selected. That's why it's pulling up the handles for this point. These are hollow squares because they're not selected. 
So with these points, just like before, I can also alter their curves by dragging out these handles. Same with this guy. If I wanted to remove those points, I can just go up here to my delete anchor point tool and click on it. So it's gone now. Back to just like it was before. Except this guy got a little messed up. Okay, so this point over here, it doesn't have any handles. So if I wanted to convert this ankle points to create those bezier handles, then what I can do is I can come right over here to this tool and click on it and drag. So clicking and dragging, I'm creating those handles. Now if I click on a point that has handles, it's going to remove them. So you see that? This point now has no handles. So again, with this tool, you can either create handles or click, sorry, or click to remove them. Also, if you click and drag somewhere kind of in the midway with this tool selected, then you can kind of alter the curve of it. So all I did was click and drag, and I'm manipulating it to create a curve. So something that's not really a part of the pen tool group, but it should definitely be associated with it, is the scissors tool. So the scissors tool is hidden right under here, underneath the eraser tool. And what you do is, with this tool selected, you can click on a path to divide it. So see, I just clicked there, and what it did was it cut that line in half. So now it's a separate segment. Okay? So it turned that one point into two separate points. So you'll also find that scissors option right up here. So if you click on that, it does the same exact thing. It splits that point into two separate points. Okay, if I want to join my points back together, I just selected one. You can see it's a filled square now. I'm holding shift and selecting the other. And now I'm going to go right up here to connect those points. All right, so if I click on that, they're now paired back together. Okay, and I can do that same thing here. I'm clicking, holding shift, and selecting the other point. Clicking right up there to join those points together. Okay? So now I have one path. Remember if I want to smooth that out again, a quick shortcut here is to click on that to create a smooth point. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the pen tool basics. Now the pen tool is definitely something you want to master in Illustrator, as it's one of Adobe's most essential tools for creating paths and vector graphics. Now the best way to become more professional with it is really just to practice. So find things you want to redraw and bring them into Illustrator, and then just trace over them using this tool. If you're unsure how to do that, I'll go ahead and show you really quick. Um, so something I found that's pretty fun to trace over with Illustrator and good for practice are tribal tattoos. Let's see. Victor. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one out for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this guy over and dropping it in there. Okay, so it just opened that up for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity on this. So that way if I'm using a black stroke, I'll be able to see what I'm working with. And I'm going to go ahead and lock this behind. Okay. These are my layers right over here. So if you don't have this open, go ahead and click on that to open it up. Okay, so now we can see that I have this locked in the background. So I can't do anything on this layer because it's locked. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this. You can do that by double clicking. I'm just going to call it reference. Okay, and now I'm creating a new layer above that. So this is the one that I'm going to be actually working with. So just for practice, you would go ahead and select your pen tool. And you want to practice doing this in as little anchor points as possible. Okay, so I'm trying to do this in just one clean stroke. Okay. And again, when you guys are working with this, you want to keep in mind your fills and strokes. We're going to be going over that a little bit further in the next video. But I just swapped those. Okay, but that's really what you would do to go ahead and practice with that, is pull in an image, any image, bring it in, lower the opacity, 
and then create a new layer above it to trace over it. Alright, so I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.